Good morning, Paul Georgie from Allendale. It's September 24th, Tuesday morning, and uh, getting a little bit of a turnaround Tuesday in soybeans, and that's helping uh, support the corn and the wheat market here uh, at this hour. The uh, surprise came with USDA yesterday afternoon, uh, held the uh, good to excellent conditions in soybeans at steady at 50%. Uh, trade was expecting that we could see anywhere from 2 to 3% increase in uh, soybean conditions because of the uh, rains that we had the previous week. Then on the corn, they increased the uh, conditions by 2%, which is uh, a counter-seasonal move as typically we're getting close to harvest, therefore uh, conditions uh, look worse from uh, appearance and usually uh, are decreasing. So a uh, bit of surprise on yesterday afternoon's uh, uh, report on the uh, the crop conditions. The uh, wheat market's getting some uh, support from uh, wet weather in Brazil, uh, the uh, dry weather in Argentina and uh, Australia. So. Uh, getting uh, some uh, buying in the wheat for that reason. Also, China said that uh, they were going to buy up to 7.5 million metric tons of wheat. Uh, that uh, encouraged some buyers also to, uh, to step up in the uh, wheat futures yesterday. We are in uh, technically oversold conditions in the uh, corn and in the soybean market, so uh, providing a little bit of uh, short covering attitude there this morning as well. Uh, yields continue to uh, come in on corn, uh, very good. Uh, the uh, central uh, corn belt and any early harvested corn coming in in that uh, 200 plus range, which is uh, uh, a surprise to uh, many producers. In the soybeans, uh, some early beans, uh, still running in that uh, 50 to 60 range, uh, not quite as good as what trade expected, but uh, still, uh, still very, uh, very good beans for uh, the uh, the producers uh, telling us anyway that because of the uh, dry conditions. So uh, look for uh, some choppiness here. We've got the uh, report uh, on Monday morning at 11 o'clock, the quarterly stocks report. Uh, the trade's trying to figure out how the USDA is going to deal with the uh, demand that they showed uh, throughout the year for exports and uh, for crush. Will they uh, uh, lower the, uh, the ending stocks considerably? We're also getting some support on wheat for that reason, feeling that uh, wheat stocks may even be a little less than what thought because of uh, filling in for the uh, uh, the lack of uh, corn uh, supplies. So uh, we've got that ahead of us. We've also uh, got traders concerned about uh, the economic situation with uh, the um, Congress having to uh, vote on the uh, uh, budget, uh, on the uh, uh, tapering of the bond buying. Uh, will it happen in October? Will it be pushed off? Those are questions that could impact the uh, grain markets as well as we move forward. In the livestock trade, uh, still waiting for some cash cattle to be traded. The uh, cattle on feed report was certainly friendly. We've seen that uh, follow through yesterday, and the actual market actually uh, held those gains uh, throughout the session a little stronger this morning, uh, getting some technical buying in there as well. Uh, when you get through analyzing the uh, supply numbers. Uh, the end of the uh, fourth quarter, the first and the first quarter of uh, uh, 2014, we're going to have some very tight cattle supplies and fed market uh, fed uh, cattle supplies. So should see uh, prices stay firm into that area. Uh, cutout values were stronger yesterday. We've seen uh, choice up 116, select up uh, 83 cents. Uh, the feeder index was up three cents to uh, 156.92. Uh, pork cutout values were down slightly, down 12 cents. And what's happening in the, the pork complex this week? Traders adjusting positions ahead of the hogs and pigs report on Friday. That uh, could be a, an important report for us, as the big question is, 
where are the hogs. Uh, according to the previous report, we should have uh, more hogs come in the market uh, than we uh, have seen come to market. So uh, the uh, report will be uh, important and could uh, give us some fireworks after that uh, come uh, Monday morning. So uh, stay tuned to Allendale's research. Also want to remind everybody that we do have the uh, Allendale September uh, Ag Leaders Conference. It'll be tonight at 8 o'clock. Uh, don't forget to sign up for that. And uh, we'll uh, wish everybody a very successful trading day. And we'll talk to you tomorrow morning.